Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install Python 3.9.6 on Windows 10 64 bit. With that, we will also see how we can install pip. Pip is a package management software that means it allows you to install and manage Python packages. So we will also install pip and we will also see how to run your first Python program after installing Python. So let's see. At first, we will download the current Python version that is Python 3.9.6. Go to the browser. Here and type Python. After typing, press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Welcome to python.org. Click on it. On clicking, you can see the official website. Here in, just keep your mouse cursor on download. And here in, you can see download for Windows is visible. You can also check here that 3.9 plus versions cannot be used on Windows 7 or earlier. That means Windows 7 XP won't be able to install 3.9.6. So I'll just click on it to download. You can see it is for Windows only. We we are installing on Windows 10, so it's fine. Let's click on it to download. After clicking, you can see it's only 24 MB. It, it will take some seconds to download. Just wait. So we downloaded it, guys. Double click on it to install. Let us minimize this. Here in guys, you can see installer is visible. At first, just set the path by just checking the box for add Python 3.9 to path. It's very important. You can straight away click on install or you can customize the installation. I always prefer customize installation so that we can check that what we are installing. Click on it. So here in you can see documentation it will install. Pip I told you. Pip is used to download and install Python packages. So we are installing pip. IDLE is an ID for Python. You can run your programs there itself. I'll show you later. Test suit and pile launcher also. I think it's fine. Now we will click on next. Advanced option install for all users. You can select it if your system is used by more than one people. I am the only person using this system, but still I always prefer to check this option. Rest keep as it is. And here in it will create a folder Python 3.9 in program files. If you want to change the location, click on browse. But I think this is fine. I'll click on cancel and keep the same location. Now let us click on install. So the installation started. You need to you need to wait for a few minutes. Here you can see guys the setup is completed. Now we will click on close. Now let us check that we have successfully installed python or not. Go to start. Type cmd. Click on open to open it. Now here in guys type a command python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here in you can see python 3.9.6 installed. Now you can also check it using pi hyphen hyphen version and press enter. You can see the same. Now if you want to run python programs you have two ways here. Either you can type pi and press enter. Now you can just type whatever you want. So I am using a simple print statement. Print function you can say. I will type you can see amit things. Ok I have typed it now I will press enter that's it. You can see it has printed it. Another way is if you remember we installed pip also. You can check control Z press enter. You can check that which version we installed pip hyphen hyphen version hyphen hyphen version press enter. You can see 21.1.3. If you want to install matplotlib, numpy, pandas, all these libraries, then refer the link in the description of this video. So we saw one way to print something in Python that means to run our first Python program. The second way is through IDLE. After installing Python, type Python on start. Herein you can see IDLE is visible. Click on it. So we started it. This is an IDLE. Herein you can type the same. You can print anything like this and you can run your Python programs. Press enter. Herein you can see we printed it. If you want to save this, you can go to file and you can just click on save as and, 
and save it using .py extension. That's it. If you want to create a new file, you can create new file from here. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can download and install Python 3.9.6, the current version on Windows 10. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel, Amit Things.